So guys, for today's video, I want to explain how I integrate my lead generation process with my sales process. More specifically though, I want to explain how I actually go about automating the communication between the marketing and the sales department by leveraging precisely a certain set of automations using Calendly, Zapier, Airtable, and how all of these plays together with Slack, okay? This video is going to explain everything from how to actually turn a lead that comes from any sort of traffic source or any sort of marketing project that you have going on and integrate that specifically inside of a sales CRM so that either you or your sales team can know what's happening, how it's happening, and how to actually, you know, start getting more deals done, okay? So guys, this video is going to break everything, right? From how we actually go about the sales process to the exact softwares, specifically Calendly, Zapier, Airtable, and Slack. And I think that you don't want to miss this one if you really want to start increasing the amount of clients that you get, as well as the actual closing rate percentage by being efficient with your sales organization, okay? So before we dive into the video, there are two things that I want you guys to know. The first one, is that you can get access to absolutely everything that I'll be covering in this video, the flowchart, the automations, etc., inside of my free Facebook group. You can join my free Facebook group with the link in the description. It's absolutely free. All you gotta do is ask to join my group and fill all of the membership questions. That would be number one. And number two, make sure to watch this video at 2x speed since that way you're going to save some time and you're going to be able to essentially consume the information twice as fast and take action even faster. Make sense? So let's dive into the video, but as always, thank you for watching. All right, guys, so uh, like I was saying in the previous video, which you guys seem to really enjoy, I actually broke down my client acquisition funnel. And more specifically, I was sharing with you guys how we leverage paid traffic, instant forms, opening up, Facebook groups, and all the automations, etc., to produce sales calls and ultimately um, cash collected. So what I want to do for today's video is explain to you how we actually go about the communication between the marketing and the sales department so that we can build an automation that allows us to build a CRM that ultimately allows us to stay on top of our leads and just close more deals by being efficient, okay? So I will not do a breakdown of our funnel in this video. There are a whole bunch of videos that you can go and watch for that matter. But what I want you guys to know is that by using these tools and these automations, we are implying that you already have a predictable way or just a way in general to generate sales appointments. And the reality here, guys, is that it doesn't really matter what process you use because, for example, we use our funnel, which is hybrid, aka you can use it organically and paid. We also get some calls coming in from uh, X slash Twitter. Also, we got some calls coming in from Instagram. We got some other calls coming in from YouTube Organic, etc. So ultimately, it doesn't matter what sort of mechanism you use to generate appointments. You just have to have a mechanism that you use so that this me process makes sense. Ultimately, what matters is that in whatever way, shape or form, of course, we like our scalable lead center funnel for a whole bunch of different reasons. Um, I will not get too, super into that in this video. All we gotta do is have some sort of traffic sources or funnel that allows us to get clients, make sense? Because once we start booking calls, Here's where the magic happens. What I like to do is that I integrate Calendly, which is the, the software that I use to generate appointments. And let me just give you an, an actual example. If you want to see in depth, like the questions I ask and everything, the first link in the description is going to allow you to know how it's set up, but you will have to book a call with us, okay? So let me just explain how it looks like, right? So this software allows us to essentially um, well, share with the prospect whenever they're interested in working with us, like, okay, the process, we actually show some client results, then they choose a time to talk with us, they choose whatever time, they ask a couple, we ask a couple of questions, and that's pretty much it. That way we can get an appointment in our calendar. But that essentially is the, the line between marketing and sales, because not that we get an appointment, okay, that came from whatever reason, may, maybe be outbound inside of our group, maybe it comes from someone booking a call directly on our YouTube organic content, whatever it might be, then via automations, you can see here, the way we have this set up means that when I get a new event booked via Calendly, I create a record inside of my table, okay? So let me show you what it looks like. I have a base called CRM, I have a table called book calls inside of my, uh, let me show you here, I have a base called CRM, and inside of the CRM, I have a different set of, of tables, right? Like the CRM can work for leads, but also for clients. So inside of my leads uh, section, I have a all booked calls view in here, all right? So in the last couple of weeks that we've been using this specific automation, what we have done is that all of the people who book calls via Calendly get added their name is added as a record inside of this Airtable base. And the reason why this is so powerful, guys, is because Airtable by design is a spreadsheet, it's a database, okay? Different from ClickUp or Asana or Monday, Airtable is specifically designed to manage data. And since a CRM is supposed to be precisely that, like a, a way for you to manage your contacts, et cetera, and do some sort of stuff with them, then all we do is that we have 
the name of the leads, the email, the phone, the call notes, so that whenever you're on a sales call, you can just take notes on what's happening, uh, the status, the source of the lead, okay? And when the call was booked, which is actually very good for tracking KPIs, instead of having to go and watch all of the events, you can just see like, okay, how many calls did you book in a certain date, etc. Make sense? So that's how we actually go about setting up everything. So via SAP, we integrate Calendly with um, Airtable. And that pretty much is this first part in here, right? When a lead books a call, via Cyper Automations, we actually create an Airtable database. But this is just the beginning because there are two main things that I want you guys to know because at, by this point, um, it's pretty much just a simple automation, right? But if you want to skyrocket your sales, what I would encourage you guys to do is actually add an automation, an extra automation, to automatically add a clean sales script inside of every record so that you can take notes inside of the CRM and see the cadence of the conversation without having to move from one tab to the other one, aka if you had a sales script on your tab. And let me explain a little bit more like what that means, okay? So let's say that I'm, I'm gonna call with, I don't know, um, let's say that I'm gonna call with this guy, JC, okay? So if I was on a call with this guy, of course, I have nothing in here right now, Let's say that I have a sales script. So what I can have an automation so that every time that a new record is created, I can have inside of the call notes, just like a template or a script so that I can have the exact cadence that I want to follow or that I want my sales team to follow whenever they are on a call so that they know what questions to ask, some sp special notes that they can use so that it actually does make sense um, in terms of whether they can join your program or your offer or your agency or whatever it is that you're selling. And that way you don't have to be changing between one tab to the other. And in the actual sales code, you can actually just tell your prospect like, hey, I will be just taking some notes, which you will actually be taking some notes from your computer. But you can also take a look at what's happening here without having to change anything. So it doesn't look weird. Okay, so that's like a pro tip that I want you guys to keep from this video. And at the same time, I want to share a specific automation that I like to use, but not using Sapier, but more specifically Airtable. Okay. Airtable has an integration with Slack. Slack is pretty much the only software that I have on at all times so that I can see what's happening if my team needs something from me, if my client needs something from me or whatever it might be. So let me show you what it looks like. So essentially, I have an entire channel that is public that is all about the book calls. So what I like to do and the way I like this to be set up on my end is essentially like this. I go, if, you have, if, if you're using Airtable, all you gotta do is go to automations and when a new record is created inside of my CRM in the table leads, this is the trigger, right? Well, send a message on Slack. And this is free, by the way, guys. There's nothing you gotta, gotta pay for this. And specifically, I want the message to be sent to the booked calls channel. And all I want the message to be is call booked, and I get the name of the lead, email, then the, the email that is shared in there, the phone of the, of the lead, and then the source, okay? So that I can see what's happening, if there's anything that needs to be changed, etc. And that pretty much allows us to get an instant notification on our Slack channel to be to know in real time who is booking calls, when are the calls being booked, all of that good jazz, okay? And this allows us to be ultra efficient about what's happening and actually keeping track of, you know, the cadence without having to be living on the emails or having to be checking your calendar or whatever it might be. And this is automation by itself has pretty much allowed us to automate the entire communication between the lead generation part of, build, of my business with the actual closing or sales process part of my business. Make sense? And I'm sure that if you actually apply this, not only would you be able to build a more stable and more accurate pipeline, but at the same time, you're, you're going to have more consistency in the actual closing part of your business, okay? Because you're going to have certainty in your deals, in your lead flow. This is just like the tip of the iceberg, guys, because if you would like me to share some videos on how we actually can leverage automation so that, for example, when Whenever we change the status of book call to no show, how we can automatically grab this email and send an email to the lead so that we can reschedule with pretty much automated, okay? Or how we, for example, whenever we change from book call to close one, we can change the, the, the record from being on the leads part to the client's part, which ultimately triggers another set of automations that you guys can also start using because that would pretty much be like how you translate from lead generation to sales process. Well, it would be the equivalent to send, changing from sales process to client fulfillment. That's the type of automation and the type of systems that allow you to be more efficient, but most importantly, make sure that you actually have a frictionless conversion from just a lead and a sales call on your calendar to a client that is really fast getting results and that is feeling, feeling fulfilled, ultimately allowing you to reduce churn as much as possible, okay? So guys, that would be pretty much it for this video. I know that it was like a short and sweet one, but this is just one of the things that we like to implement in our business to make sure that we stay on top of everything, okay? As always, if you'd like to do business with us and get access to a whole bunch of different systems to scale your coaching business or marketing agency, there's a link in the description that shows you how we go about it. And 
full disclosure, I don't really care to click the link or not. There's just a link that explains how we do help you in case that you're interested and committed in, you know, growing your business. But out of the way, guys, I hope that this one was helpful. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. You think that is worth it. I hope that this one was helpful and hope to see you guys in the next one. Speak soon. Bye.